Hey everybody. Oh, I have had an amazing day. I'm going to probably have write some notes if I have any thoughts throughout the day. Well, I have amazing news for you. Um, you're seeing this, I don't know, a long time in the future. Not a majorly long time, but kind of. The day that I'm filming this, the hardcover of, I believe my books came out. So it is Friday for me right now, where I am. And I published two books this week. Hey, look at that. I published two books this week. I am also pr publishing a lot of new content books. Those, none of those have gone up. Actually, the book that I wrote is is coming out. Oh, it came out this week. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Okay, let's see. I don't know. Um, my glasses. Um, not sure about this. Anyway, okay. Too much information. So... Um, I'm learning. There you go. So the book came out, and I'm really excited. I've I updated LinkedIn and wrote author, which I think is really cool and. Um, but it was just, it's been, I'm not, I am i mean, by now you'll have seen the, the preview because I'm getting the actual book in the mail. I, I'm the first person to purchase it so that I can get a copy um, to show online. So by the time you'll see this, it's already been up, but I'm filming. I have not done that video yet, so I don't know how well it, I don't know how well I did in that video. I hope I did well explaining because the title of the book started off Beauty Blossoms here and that still book is still publishable because that one's not you know seasonal the second one is a lot more seasonal it is a whimsical practical metaphorical mindful approach to smelling the roses post COVID. And when I first sent it to my my sister, she posted it on when it got posted or something, she posted it on Facebook and said if you're interested in nature and if you're interested in nature and flowers, check this book out. And I thought, oh yeah, I need to change the title of that book. It's confusing and Nothing wrong in that. I mean, how would I know? You know, I, I did this in other ways and I was so excited to get that feedback. So I spoke to a patent attorney friend of mine in LA and he suggested post COVID guide. Post COVID, like having that as the beginning. And part of me felt like it was like, I don't know, praying on something, but the truth is, is that it is a practical, metaphorical, literal, mindful guide, and it's quick. There's 516 pages. You're, you will read 516 words if you read the title page. If, if you don't, and you're only dealing with the book, You've got 500 pages, that's it. Paperback is 29 pages, but the hardcover it has to be a 75 page book minimum to be a hardcover. So what I decided to do is I make low and no content books like journals and daily planners and recipe books and guest books and 
you know, your favorite, you know, I don't know, whatever you want as a book that you can fill out the words. It's not like a Mad Libs, but you know, that's what I do. So I figured you might like one picture and want like a series or you might be a stager at a home and want to have all the same books match because my photography you just happen to really like or something like that. You know, so I was like, that's really cool. So anyway, so what I did with the hardcover, because when I went to do the hardcover, I noticed the price was close to the same as my no and low content books. And I was like, I'm not gonna do that to them. I mean, why, I'm gonna give them a notebook with the book because that way, you know, it's always around. If you want a good laugh, you just open up a page. I mean, there's only 500 words. It's not, you know what I mean? It's it's a nice, easy, like, toilet book to read, you know what I mean? So anyway. Anyway. Who's my audience market? People on the toilet. How crazy is that? Anyway. So, I'm having a wonderful time. I'm having so much fun. And I had an interview today. And it was so much, it was so much fun that they did an interview of a chronological behavioral interview. And I you know, only learned about that type of format for this, for this, um, I'm losing my train of thought, I love that. Oh, that's pretty. I'm starting to figure out how to do them straight. People are saying the checkerboard pattern, but I don't like the checkerboard pattern. I prefer like steps, like see how that's like a step? And then I make another step, and I make another step. And then those are two steps. Anyway. I, um, in my world, I also just received today the my first Dime Art Club purchase ever. I'm so, I'm becoming, I guess, a part of the fam. So excited. I decided I have a Santa up um, behind me and I'm Jewish and they had a menorah and it was on sale because you know because it didn't sell out you know so I got that very excited and so I've been keeping my my ear open for if there's something else I might really like because of you know shipping and all that and uh, that's when I heard about um, I'll try to link the video below where um, a fellow YouTuber talked about how um, they can you can buy from her and I, the way I saw it is it was like a promise of the future you know what I mean like she doesn't have to produce it right now they don't have homes you know they're like being bombed and killed and genocide and all that and so but it's a promise to the future like I will buy I already prepaid for something that I want in the future and you know, I'll pay for it again when it happens. It's a metaphorical. Anyway, so I want, I decided to, I wanted to buy the artists, the Ukrainian artists work and then have a live um, diamond painting event so that I can maybe say, raise money for, for Ukraine. And I had all these thoughts to do that and I am beat. I'm so beat, but um. Mm. Man. All right. I need to just. Relax. You know. Mm. I'm almost out of whites. I'll have to open up another container. Oh. oh, is that what we call trash? I'm learning about trash. Oh, I'm not even in the shop. Don't you know? Stairs, see? And you just kind of... I mean, it's really... What's up, big boy? What's going on? Do we have another delivery? If I stop, I don't think I'll come back. I'm tired, you guys. I'm tired. I was on the phone all day. And I hate the phone. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.